And in this back alley right behind Thunder Ryu's building, we have this here, which also just opened up, so... Let's see what we can do in here and probably spend even more money that we don't need to spend. What do you want? There's no place for a pussy like you. Go home to Bobby. Leave me alone. Alright buddy, well, what are you doing? If you had a ball, we may have something to talk about. Well, I think I have uh, eight Lava Clav balls, so... Yeah, I've got... It's, uh, eight of them. Oh, select the technique you want. What do you got, man? Memory of three, good lord, if this ticker tape stuff would just go a little bit faster. Displays the position of enemies on the minimap, that I do not need. Allows a jumping slash to be performed by shaking the, uh, yeah, it's the nunchuck. That one I'm gonna keep on the back burner, that one might be the one that I get. A dash to be performed by pressing the B button. If I remember correctly, that one's actually kind of annoying. Extends dark side mode time. I don't care about that. Increases earned bonuses based on your rank. Eh. Allows a jumping down attack to be... Alright, I'm gonna get memory of child. Just make sure that that's... Nope. I mean, memory of demon. And I think there's a tutorial, I think he shows you how to do it, too. I love- I don't know what's being implied here. Is it being implied that he, um... Like, beats it into you, or like, what? Yours and yours alone. Keep practicing. Do we get to practice this? For some- I remember you being able to practice it. Like, I remember there being a bunch of dudes in the alley now. Or am I just completely wrong? I'm just completely wrong, wow. But yeah, that's the, the use that the Lava Cove balls have. So if we keep finding those, you know, we can keep going there and get new techniques. So next up, it's time to do some jobs. I'm just checking this alley out because I want like a shirt or something. Wow, there's nothing back here. Alright, well, on to the jobs. What kind of new job you got for us this time, buddy? So we got the coconuts, we got the lawn mowing, and garbage collection. Alright. It's a fine job, it pays well. Being a garbage man, it's pretty dignified. I'll take it! So yeah, I'm gonna show this mission the one time, and then probably never again. And I'm just gonna start cutting. You know, we'll have our little town Town time to... Town time to... Town time to take... I'm trying to really just keep this alliterative, but I, I don't think I can maintain it. Town time to take a look around and grab things that we need or want. Am I on the right island for this? Hold on. Oh, the... Try the I kept trying to press the um, select button. Which usually brings up a map. Yeah, no, I'm not in the right area for this. Um, bridge is there. But yeah, it, it's just like it. This is the one thing that if this game was balanced better for like maybe things give you more money each job, this game would be a little bit more pleasant. I mean, it's still a great game, and when it's really great, it's really great. But it's, it's just, it gets on my nerves doing all this town mission stuff, doing all the jobs. There's too much to do in this game, there's too much to buy, so you don't have as much money. And of course the fact that this is like all the way over here is kind of dumb too. Like, gotta make me drive all the way out of my way just to come over here. That is not what I wanted. This is the land of freedom and anarchy. Each piece of garbage is a lost soul. True garbage man can bring peace to the dead. A soul that can talk with garbage. The god of garbage will be watching. Go save that garbage. Okay then. 
Suspicion's alright. Um, I still think that the best one to do for the money is probably the the lawn mowing. You could just keep doing that and get pretty good money. But this one's fine too. And I, I don't know, this is a good use of motion controls, I'll say. It'd be better if it was one on, you know, perfect one-to-one -one controls, but it ain't. And this game has some, like, some of the best world building in terms of, um, like, stuff like this than, like, real open world games that aren't goofy. Like, go around picking up garbage, mowing lawns, and... Stuff like that, you're not going to see that in Grand Theft Auto. So it's a thousand per bit of trash. Or was it per pound of trash? I think it was just per trash, so this is pretty lucrative already. This one, unlike the other ones, I don't think there's really a way... For this to be, like, bad. There's no way to fail this one. Unless you're just blind and you run in the wrong direction and there just happens to be no trash. That can is ginormous. So if that thing didn't lie to me, I should already have $22,000 coming to me. So I could probably just keep doing this one over and over again. Wouldn't be the worst. The worst part about it would have to be just driving over here. Taking up a whole bunch of time. Yeah, frame rate's kind of screwing up over here. Too many things on screen at once. And you know what? The fact that I have to get like 250,000 really is not great. Because, yeah, I, I might have like by the end of this 40 or 50,000, um, but that doesn't, that's not even like a dent in what I need to pay for the next mission. Again, they could have balanced it a little bit better. Maybe the jobs do a little bit more money each time. Shock this trash can. You know what would be a funny little detail is every time you bend over to pick up a piece of trash, something else falls out. This is probably where I'll make my final stand here. If I could just pick up all this stuff by the end, I'd be fine. Okay, Travis, thank you for that. Travis just forgot how to properly act there for a second. No, no, I want to get at least 45. Damn it. Oh well. Still got 43, or 44. I mean, that's a good amount of money. And from now on, I'm just going to cut back to when I actually have proper... Oh, well, I guess I got this too. I'll show this too. There's a new assassination mission. And then I'll cut. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. This is another one of those kill as many people as you possibly can missions. And there's a there's a timer, so this one shouldn't be too bad. If only I had that screen nuke move right now. Man, I seem to be like no problemo for these guys now. Like it's just one hit and then they're they're able to be killed. And that's how I like it. I get a good amount of money for each kill, so... Won't see me complaining. I will be complaining, though, if that keeps happening. I don't know how I lost that one. See ya! See, I think this one I might be able to kill every single person here before the time runs out. So, again, they, they keep saying this is like an endless thing, kill as many people as you want. But I think I can beat them all. So it's just kill all of them. It should be an endless amount of wounds. There's probably like 15 dudes in here. 
This one might be another good one to grind too, so this might be what I do is I do pick up some trash and then pick up more trash with these guys. Yeah, see I don't I don't see anyone else, so. That's gonna be a good little payday. Woo wee! Sixty thousand dollars. Or LBs, sorry. Alright, well now that there's not much else new for me to show, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep kind of grinding these these levels until I have enough money, so see you then. Yay! That's nice. That took way less time than I thought I was going to. Because there, there was one mission that had me kill the Pizza Butt CEO again, and it gave me 50,000, so that's really nice. I really didn't even need to cut, because there was only one extra mission that I did. So now let's make that deposit, see what's on that VHS tape I picked up, and then that'll be that. Then we can move on to the next, uh, next real mission. Which is the real meat and potatoes of the game, even though you definitely spend more time here than anywhere else. Well, I, I wish I had $250,000 I could just put in my bank. The hell? That thing came out of nowhere! So, I, like, sometimes I feign ignorance about, like, Oh, I wonder what's on this VHS tape. I legitimately do not remember what are on these tapes, or if they do anything, so... This is gonna be a learning experience for, for all of us. It's probably just, like, porn or something. Rabbit! Can you hear me? It's crazy over here! No time to explain! I'll send details over snail mail! Gotta run! What the hell's going on over there? Jeez. Don't leave me hanging, honey. Okie doke, then. Sounds like we are needed! Let's go in the living room, see what's on TV. Ah, okay. The Quebradora Congiro. Neat. If only I knew how to do it. Can I check his fridge? What does a man like Travis Touchdown keep his, keep in his fridge? Alright, that makes sense. There's an N64 there, that's cool. I think I already pointed that out, but... It's pretty neat that they put, like, an N64 in the game. He seems like the kind of guy who would have, like, retro systems. Travis is the kind of guy who would keep retro systems, but then also say that everything came that came after, like, the 1990s is all garbage. That's the kind of person I imagine Travis is. Dear Travis, the next, the next ranker is one dangerous dude, but there's no going home now. I already am home. You've set foot on the path of a real man. No amount of tears can wash that choice away. Now hurry to the subway, get on a train and find him. Waiting. Put your life on the line. Okay, why do we have to do that via snail mail? Whoop, whoop. Sometimes instead of making the the blue shuriken thing going around. I make it go real fast. Sometimes I, I like to just kind of make it so that it doesn't hit the bottom. If that makes any sense. Alright, let's do this. We're closer than ever to becoming the top-ranked assassin. But we've still got some work to put in. We'll get there eventually. It's really kind of disturbing how similar this song is to a song in Sonic 06. Like, I really don't want to be talking about Sonic 06. Where is this one? I said I had to get into the subway. 
Just sit here, yeah. I really don't remember going to the subway. This might be like a blank spot for me entirely in this game. I remember the one before it, and I remember the one after this. I just don't remember this one. Okay, now I remember this guy. Yeah, this guy's pretty great. This also reminds me of a level in Mad World, because there's a, uh... Pretty early on in the game, there's a part where you go into the subway there, too. Now, who wants to make a bet? Is he going to actually swipe something and pay for his way into the subway, or is he going to leap over it? Shocking. That actually adds to his character more, because he's kind of like, he thinks he's a big badass, but he still pays his way onto the subway. What does it say? Bear Hug Film Studio. And I'll bet you that was intentional, too, that he paid for it. Because, like I'm saying, it, it really adds to his character. There's a lot of really great, like, subtle things in this game. Sweet. Trading card. There's no way that this area is this big, and I'm not going to explore it. Like, come on. They definitely put something else in here. And if there isn't anything in here, that's when my explorative nature um, is bad. Because I walked all this way out here for no reason. Great, thanks. Thanks a lot, game. I wish Travis was just a little bit faster. Also, come on, this is I've never seen a subway system this this empty. Then again, I only use the subway in New York, and that's like second only to Japan in terms of like horribly busy subway systems. Moai Financial, so great. Did that cutscene need to be that long? It's not the most interesting of levels. Just because it's a it's a big straight line. So I guess if you like Final Fantasy 13, you're probably gonna like this level. And I say that as someone who actually likes Final Fantasy 13. Why are these guys just like military dudes? What a pain! Like, look at this. This isn't challenging at all, and I, I assume... I seem to be way stronger now, too. So I guess the training does help. Two for one. Let me in. Yeah, I am putting these guys to work. I am killing those guys much quicker now. that guy. You know, if that guy with the axe, I was, oh man, I was literally just saying, if that guy with the axe was smart, he would attack me now. But I guess giving the AI ideas isn't a great thing. I like how there's no normal people on this on this train. It's just a bunch of enemies. 